Oh, come on, Goron, so let's play Mega Man. That is the Leg Man's theme, also another great piece. And this is a gimmick of this level. Some some of those things fire electricity. Yeah. This level also has amazing music. Be careful because those things attack you and fire electric ray electricity at you as well. And remember. There is knockback, and you can't avoid knockback damage. And you can't protect yourself from it. And this is another gimmick of this game. Appearing and disappearing blocks. Which are basically the bane of every Mega Man player's existence. Ugh. Because they are timing based. And they can fuck you over if you don't know what you're doing, like I did here. Yeah, this game is very memorization based, so... Be careful with that. And it also has this kind of cheap jump. Yeah, it has those blocks, which I didn't remember. I said at the beginning of the series, this is a game I haven't played in quite a while. I'm kind of missing the detail powered up pass in the background, honestly. Okay then. You're supposed to go from inside, I think. Uh, that's what she said? And yeah, let's face it, at some point I was gonna have to make that ju that comment, I think. Okay. Be careful! Ugh. And, uh... From either way is fine, just be careful because you have to deal with these assholes. So... And here we are. And that... Is the Magnet Beam. You might think, oh, but why do you want it? It's optional, isn't it? Nope. It's mandatory for Wily's Fortress. What does a Magnet Beam do, you might ask? Well, it does this. It creates a, uh, project, uh, beam that you can climb on. What? No, really, what? Place it back here. Might as well pick it up regardless. Must be a glitch in the game or something. But oh, what fucking hour? Let's just go. I don't know what. I can't tell you what path is easier. I really legitimately want to know if I can change that whole stupid thing. I mean. Are you kidding? Oh, oh no 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 In these situations you use a magnet beam and that's it. We're gonna need the magnet beam. Oh we will. 
There is a particular section in the next Robot Masters level that I really, really don't recommend you try to do without the Magnet Beam. It's... It's ridiculously hard. And look at the damage this guy does. And this is our checkpoint. So I'm gonna die with Eggman. Or climbing onto him, so... It doesn't really matter. I already have a checkpoint. Yeah, also, in later versions, well, in later games, and in the new style of thing I'm powered up, you no longer have this kind of hallways to, to reach the Robot Master. And seriously, like, man, which is basically the hardest Robot Master after Fireman, I'd say. The thing is, Fireman's attack pattern is very unpredictable. We'll get to that when we get to that, but you'll see it on your own. I'm gonna equip Codman's weapon, which is his weakness. Buddy like man, oh you like man. He can two shot. No, his you like beam can can take you down in three hits. At least in the power-up version, the rolling cutter is able to suppress I mean to to stop his his lightning bolts and see how much damage he's doing. And that I died. Is that a game over? Please tell me it's not. Oh, thank you. This is the last shot. And yeah, in this game, energy doesn't refill. In the powered up version, it did. If you're playing that version, you basically already have an advantage. And yeah, just get past these hallways. And yeah, you have to get to them. That, but yeah, Electman is hard. He also dies in three hits, but he will kick your ass if you're not careful. This time I'm gonna fire as soon as he spawns. There we go. No, in this one, these aren't a lightning rod. And he's gone. Yeah. In the power up version, the rolling cutter. Old style, that is. In the old style, the rolling cutter can block the elect beam keep not in this version or in other versions keep that in mind so next time we tackle iceman this is rosan thank you guys for watching i'll see you then